Welcome to our journey into the amazing world of satellite internet. In this video, we'll explore how data travels between the DISH and the Starlink satellite. Join us as we discover the science behind this cool technology and learn how it helps us stay connected to the internet. Let's dive in and see how it all works. Let's talk about something truly remarkable. The incredible technology behind beaming the internet from deep within the woods up to a satellite orbiting 550 kilometers above Earth's atmosphere. All thanks to an oversized pizza-shaped satellite dish perched on your roof. What's even more mind-boggling is the speed at which Starlink satellites zoom through space at approximately 27,000 kilometers per hour. Not only do they exchange data at blazing speeds of hundreds of megabits per second, but both the dish and the satellite continually adjust their positions to ensure a direct data link between them. As the satellites swiftly move out of the dish's view, it recalibrates its coordinates roughly every four minutes. If all this sounds perplexing, don't worry. We're about to delve into the intricate technologies that make satellite internet a reality. Welcome to AI Tech Underground. We're always exploring cutting edge technology. Like subscribe and hit that bell notification so you do miss a single exciting tech video. First, let's take a peek inside the satellite dish to understand how it generates the data stream transmitted to orbit. Then, we'll explore how the dish tracks passing satellites by adjusting the direction of its beam. Finally, we'll examine the data transmitted between the dish and satellite within that beam enabling you to stream five high-definition programs simultaneously. However, since this video covers a lot of ground, we recommend watching it twice at 1.5x speed, especially after the first viewing at 1.25x speed. Now, let's focus on the Starlink Ground Dish, affectionately nicknamed Dishy McFlatface by Elon Musk. Unlike traditional TV dishes that receive broadcast signals from satellites in a high orbit, Dishi connects to a Starlink satellite much closer to Earth, allowing for internet data transmission. However, to bridge this relatively short distance wirelessly, the signal must be concentrated into precise, focused beams constantly adjusted to maintain connectivity. This is quite different from TV transmissions which cover large areas with broad signals. Starlink satellites in low Earth orbit provide lower latencies crucial for smooth web browsing and gaming, but their coverage area is more limited. To achieve global internet coverage, a vast network of thousands of Starlink satellites orbiting at high speeds is required. Now let's take a closer look at Dishy McFlatface. It features two motors and an ethernet cable connecting to the router. During setup, these motors aim the dish in the general direction of the Starlink satellite, though they don't constantly track it. Inside the dish, we find a complex array of microchips controlling 112180 antennas arranged in a hexagonal pattern. These antennas communicate with the satellite using facet array technology, sending and receiving angled electromagnetic pulses. Each antenna comprises multiple layers within the circuit board, generating electromagnetic waves through intricate processes. By applying high-frequency voltage to copper feed lines, electromagnetic fields are created, eventually forming the basis of the transmitted signals. Moreover, these antennas can switch between transmitting and receiving modes, enabling bidirectional data transfer. Combining the power of multiple antennas through beamforming increases signal strength and efficiency. This process involves merging electromagnetic waves from adjacent antennas to create a focused beam, greatly enhancing signal intensity. This is crucial for effective communication with satellites in orbit. The collaboration between antennas leads to a more concentrated area of constructive interference, forming what is known as a beam front. By connecting 1280 antennas together, we create a beam with enough strength and directionality to reach space. However, the collective power of these antennas isn't simply multiplied by 1280. The effective strength and range of the primary beam approach 3,500 times that of a single antenna. It's like surrounding one antenna with mirrors, significantly enhancing the beam's power. 
Now, let's dive deeper into the technology. We use the same 12 GHz signal to drive an array of 1,280 antennas, creating a laser-like beam perpendicular to Dishi. But aiming this beam precisely at the fast-moving Starlink satellite poses a challenge. Phased array beam guiding comes to the rescue. By adjusting the phase of the signal to each antenna, we control the beam's direction. Phase shifting alters when each antenna emits peaks, creating constructive interference in specific directions. By systematically varying the phase of signals to the antennas, we generate a wide area of constructive interference, steering the beam. This allows us to aim the beam within a 100 degree field of vision. Dishi's software calculates the precise angle needed to aim the beam using GPS coordinates and information about the satellite's orbital position. Each antenna's phase shift is coordinated by beamformers and front-end modules. These calculations are continually updated to ensure precise beam direction. A few additional points. The main beam, or major lobe, isn't perfect, and weak side lobes exist. While Mr. McFlatface has one phased array, the Starlink satellite has four, used for various purposes including internet traffic relay and communication with dishes. Phased arrays also find applications in commercial airlines' in-flight internet systems. If you're amazed by the depth and intricacy of this video, please subscribe, like and comment below. We'll be sure to create more content like this. Now, Let's dive into the process of transmitting data from Dishi to the Starlink satellite. Think of the high-frequency sinusoid-shaped electromagnetic waves. They're far from resembling binary or your typical television program. So, what's happening? Well, Dishi and the satellite emit the same kind of signal, but they manipulate the signal's amplitude and phase encoding 6-bit binary values into every possible combination. To illustrate this, we use a constellation diagram, which simplifies the visualization of the 64 distinct values. Each signal's amplitude and phase are represented by its distance from the origin and its angle from the positive x-axis, similar to polar coordinates. Dishi transmits each 6-bit cluster, known as a symbol, every 10 nanoseconds. Using quadrature amplitude modulation, 64 QM, we transmit 6-bit data with varying amplitude and phase. This complex process results in a stream of millions of 6-bit symbols generating hundreds of megabits of data per second. Before we conclude, let's address a couple of points. Firstly, while Dishi and the Starlink satellite are accurately scaled, their distance of 550 kilometers apart isn't depicted proportionally. Also, the animation shows electromagnetic waves at a much slower rate than reality. In truth, it takes only about two milliseconds for waves to travel between Dishi and the satellite. Secondly, although this video focuses on Dishi transmitting waves, satellites primarily operate in receive mode. Nonetheless, the process of receiving electromagnetic waves mirrors that of transmitting them, albeit in reverse. This video offers a fascinating journey into the complex realm of data transmission between Dishi and the Starlink satellite. Over the course of one month and numerous screenplay revisions, we've meticulously crafted an engaging exploration of how 6-bit binary values are encoded into electromagnetic waves. From the manipulation of signal amplitude and phase to the intricacies of quadrature amplitude modulation, viewers gain insight into the fusion of science and engineering powering modern technology. Remember, if you're enjoying this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications to stay up to date with the latest content from the AI Tech Underground. We're always exploring the cutting edge of technology and we can't wait to share more fascinating insights with you.